What's going on everybody, Kaskobi here, and welcome to something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be using my launchpad to play a few different games and see how it performs as a games controller. Before we continue, I just wanted to say that I am not the first one to have a go at this idea. This has been done before, but I decided to improve on it by making it a little bit more of a visual thing. The layout of the controller is actually quite simple once you get used to it. Your main WASD keys are located here, your spacebar is here, shift and control are next to it, the escape key is in the top left corner, numbers 1 to 8 are across the top, and the arrow keys are in the bottom right corner, as well as a few extra keys around the WASD to help in some different games. With that explained, let's test it out in something like Fortnite to see how it performs. The keys work very well in game and seem to have no input lag from my experience anyway. The only key I had a few problems with here was the shift key, it would cut out every now and again making it very difficult to run in this game. But all of the keys worked perfectly fine and gameplay was fairly enjoyable. Before we go on, I will say I am no Fortnite expert, this was like my third or fourth time playing and I wasn't exactly at an advantage seeing as I was using a launch pad and I was sat like 7 feet away from my monitor behind my recording desk without my glasses on, so this is basically what I saw. Obviously the mouse controls are the same, but it would actually be possible to map the left and right click onto the launch pad as well. But you can see that the gaming experience itself went quite well, especially after I discovered the bush. I'm a bush. <laughs> so anyway, welcome to the next minute or so of absolutely trash gameplay. Obviously I'm just using this to test out the launch pad controller. But, in my experience, obviously it does actually work quite well. And obviously with my channel being quite a launch pad focused channel, we obviously included a launch pad in this video. Recorded here as well was my first ever kill in Fortnite. Like I said, I'm no expert, so I just kind of packed in with a, uh, with a pickaxe. I, I did well. But the game went well, and we won in the end, so that's all good. Let's try out something simpler, like Minecraft. In this game, every control seems to work fine, except from Shift again. Shift always seems to have problems when I map it to the launch pad. So in Minecraft, you can't crouch using Shift, which is kind of a shame. But all of the other movement doesn't feel restricted, and all controls act as normal. Moving on, let's try some Geometry Dash, some of the simplest controls in a game. So, I actually can't think of much to say for this one. I mean... The spacebar works. Awesome. Finally, I wanted to test out some stick fight. This game in particular made me notice that it's much harder to know for sure when a key is pressed. The Launchpad Pro buttons don't actually press in like you might think. However, I still feel like the game was easily playable. It wasn't too difficult. Anyway, I felt like I'd actually show you how this software works and how to get it working yourself if you wanted to try it. The conversion program is run in Bohm's MIDI translator, available for both Windows and Mac, and it has 52 separate commands that I've written for 26 different key binds. One for the key up command, and one for key down. So this is the meat of the process, and basically enables the launchpad to use the keys in the first place. Then over in Ableton, this is dealing with all the visual things. I have a loop of light effects going, just to show the notes as a layout. Then a second channel is used to run the white light effects to show what buttons are being pressed. I'll put all this stuff in the description, so you can download this for yourself. Just map the launchpad as the input for Bohm's MIDI translator, as well as Ableton, and you should be good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this concept I threw together for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.